Hi there, my name is Ray Venables and in this tutorial we'll look at how to enter your end of term mark and your end of year marks using GPI. Please note this tutorial is intended for teachers in the Eastern Shore School Board so the procedures explained in this video may not apply to teachers in other school boards. Before beginning it's worth noting that there are three different scenarios that teachers may be faced with. The first scenario is one in which there are no compulsory exams at the end of the year, there are no uh, school board baseline exams, and in that case the simplest is that the teacher enters their grade and the GPI system does the calculation. Quite easy, very straightforward. In the second scenario, this is one in which there's a uniform or compulsory exam. In this case, the teacher will input their third term grade mark and then they'll have to enter the exam mark separately. The system will do the math. In the third and last scenario, this one is one in which there's a common or a baseline exam. And in this case, the exam is worth 20% of the year. However, the teacher will need to do the calculation because the term three mark should be used with two thirds of the term using the class mark and one third of the term using the exam mark. I'll explain this more in depth later in the video. Let's start with scenario one. In scenario one, go to the ESSB website and make sure to log in. Choose your subject group. In this example, I'm going to choose music, secondary one. Once all your grades are entered, make sure to save your grades. In this subject, since there are no uniform or compulsory exams and there are no common or baseline exams, uh, I'm finished. So the, the GPI system will calculate the final mark and I can log out. I'm finished. Second scenario, I teach an English language arts class to the secondary five students and I have a compulsory males exam. So I'm going to start by putting in the third term grade. Choose the correct subject and enter your grades. And make sure to hit save. Now you'll notice in the last column that the column is blank, so I should hit calculate just to be sure. And GPI will do the math. Now, in order to put in the exam mark, the MELS exam mark, because it's already been corrected, I need to log out and log in again, but in the exam term, the equivalent of the fourth term. In the term field, make sure to put EX. It doesn't matter if it's capitals or small caps choose the proper group and you'll see that there are only two competencies uh, there's no competency one for this exam so I'll enter the grades and hit save so there will be no final mark because uh, these exams need to be um, the term needs to be closed and the exams need to be approved by the MELs and they could be subject to moderation. But at this point I'm finished and I can log out. I'm done. Now in this third and last scenario we're going to look at the math at the elementary grade 5 level uh, in which it only has two competencies and we're going to determine what the final mark is for term 3. We need to uh, uh, remember that the class mark will be worth two-thirds of the third term and the exam will be worth one-third of that final mark. Therefore, we'll have to do the calculations twice, once for competency one and the second time for competency two. So let's have a look at this example. In term three for competency one, 
the class mark was 88%. However, the exam mark for competency one in this subject was 55%. So finding two-thirds of the class mark, or 88%, and one-third of the exam mark, or 55%, will amount to a final mark of 76.23. So in GPI, for this student, we should put in 76 for competency one. Now, for competency two, the procedure is the same. The class mark for this student was 80%, but the exam mark was 60%. Two-thirds of that final term will be taken from its class mark, so we take two-thirds of 80%, and then we will take one-third of the exam mark, or 60%, and doing the math will mean that the final mark for competency two will be 73%. At this point, the next step is quite straightforward. You put in the grades and the GPI system will do the rest of the math. So that concludes this tutorial uh, in which we looked at how to enter your end of term and end of year marks using GPI. Uh, if you have any questions, I encourage you to contact Melanie Dow at the school board office. And I thank you for watching this video. I wish you all a nice summer.